Mr. Coyle here from Coyle and Maths. Today we're going to be looking at increasing, decreasing functions for higher mathematics differentiation. So just to remember, for any function f of x, to work out the gradient m, we can differentiate it f dash x. Now, if the, the derivative is greater than zero, it means that we have a positive derivative. It means the function is increasing. If the derivative is zero, it means we've got a stationary point. In other words, we've got a turning point. The function's stationary. And finally, if we get a negative derivative, if the derivative is less than zero, it means the function is going down the way it's decreasing. And we can use that fact to find out whether a function is increasing or decreasing at a given point or through a range of values. Or we can later on find it using to find stationary points. So here's a, a, a picture that kind of illustrates this point. Let's say we had a function like so. The derivative dy by dx is greater than zero going up this way, so the function is increasing. It then hits a stationary point, it then drops back down. The derivative will be negative because the gradient of the tangent will be negative. It is then zero, and then the derivative rises back up. The gradient of the tangent is greater than zero. Okay, example one says state whether f of x equals 2x cubed minus 3x plus 3 is increasing, decreasing, or stationary at x equal to 2. So first thing we can do is work out our derivative, f dash x. f dash x is 3 times 2 is 6x squared, taking away 1, minus 3, and the plus 3 goes to 0. So all we need to work out is substituting 2 in to see if that is positive, negative, or 0. So that's 6 times 2 squared minus 3. 6 times 4 minus 3. 24 minus 3, which is equal to 21. f dash 2 is positive, I should say is, therefore f of x is increasing at x equal to 2. Example 2 says, show that the function f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 10 is never decreasing. This has got a common question. We need to be very careful with this one. So let's start off by differentiating it and see what happens. So f dash x is equal to 3x squared minus 6x plus 3. And we somehow need to show that that's always positive. Well, the only thing, one of the things that I know is always positive is a square. If we square something, x times x is x squared. A negative thing is a negative positive. So if I can show that this is somehow a square, perfect square, then I can show that it's never decreasing and therefore always increasing, or at least zero. So let's just try and manipulate this. Taking 3 out as a common factor, we get x squared minus 2x plus 1. Factorising that, we get 3x and x, 1 and 1, minus 1 and minus 1. Well, that's 3 times x minus 1 squared. That's 3 times a square number, which is always greater than or equal to 0, and therefore f of x is never decreasing. So since we managed to make that a square number, we can just say that straight away because it's a given. Okay, example three says, similarly, show that the curve with equation y equals 5 minus 4x minus x cubed is always decreasing. So what is show that it's always negative? Let's start by working on dy by dx then to find out if it's positive or negative. So the first term disappears, we get minus 4, and we get minus 3x squared. And we somehow need to show that that is always less than 0. Well, that's quite easy to show. If I just annotate this, that's always negative. When you square a number, that's positive, but then you times it by a negative number, so that's always negative. So you end up with, that means that that is always less than zero. And we're done. So therefore, y equal to five minus four x minus x cubed is always decreasing. Example four, for what values of x is f of x equal to x cubed minus x squared minus x plus seven decreasing? So we need to work out the derivative. f dash x is equal to three x squared 
minus 2x minus 1. And I suppose what we're wanting to know is when's that decreasing? So we want to know when is 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 less than 0. So we've got a quadratic inequality to solve. So let's work on that. Let's see if we can factorise it. We get 3x plus 1 and we get x minus 1. So at the side, we can say that we're solving that equation 3x plus 1 to find the turning points, x minus 1 equals 0, and therefore x equals minus a third, and x equals 1 would be our, our roots. So we know our roots, so we can just draw a picture to work out when that's decre uh, less than 0, more than 0. If I draw a quick sketch, y and x, Let's call that minus a third, and let's call that one over here. That'll be roughly what our picture looks like, and we should be able to see that that's negative or less than zero only under this point. So between these two points, it's negative. So for solving our inequality, we can say that minus a third is less than x, which is less than one. It's been Claire Maths, and today we have been looking at increasing and decreasing functions, how to work out when a function is increasing or decreasing for particular values or a range of values at higher maths differentiation. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye. Bye.